Let's talk about how we can make a JSON file or a package for anybody that's looking to create their own plugin or toolbar for Houdini. So I have a toolbar up here It's uh, I made recently. So we're just gonna take a look at the file that I created for this or the, the package that I created so that I could easily distribute this to others and have everything be brought in properly, all these icons and everything load in properly and the shelf itself um, so that people only have to edit really one line in a package file and plop that into their Houdini installation and they're all set to go. So let's just take a look at that file and what that looks like and just explain kind of what we're doing. So first of all, a couple things here. This name, this first line here, we don't actually need this. This is just kind of in there. Um, it's a, just the name of the little project that we have here. Um, and then also I don't actually end up using this path as well. So you can actually get rid of this line and you can get rid of this line and uh, the, the file will actually work just perfectly fine. So you can omit that if you want, but the big thing that you need to have in here is all of the stuff in this environment. And what this environment does is basically it adds or makes all of the information in between the brackets here available to the Houdini environment file. So if I take a look at the Houdini environment file, uh, this is my Houdini environment file uh, for my installation. Uh, normally, if you're installing something like Redshift or, or some other uh, plugin or, or render engine, you'd put some information in here, typically like a Houdini path and some other stuff, uh, Pixar plugin path for like enabling a render engine in Solaris. Um, that's some information that you'd put in the Houdini environment, or you would have a package that you have um, set up for your system that you can also uh, just plop into your packages folder. So let's just take a look at what we're doing here and you can kind of set your your stuff up the same way if you want um, or edit it to, to your needs. So the first thing that we're doing here is creating a variable. So this inside the mind underscore directory. This is just a variable that's going to store where our actual packages installation is or where the folder is that contains all of our files. So if I just bring this up, you can see we have our packages folder here and then I'm specifying the inside the mind folder specifically. So now every time that we use this, we know that we're gonna be pointed towards this particular folder and everything that's inside this folder. So I'm just setting this up as a um, as a placeholder that uh, we can then use later on just to kind of save ourselves from having to change a bunch of things. We just change this to your installation and then that's all you have to change. Everything will update accordingly as long as things are uh, in the correct spots. So the second thing that we're doing here is adding this Houdini toolbar path. So we're just making this toolbar path available to the Houdini environment. So this is a environment variable that you can look up on like the documentation for Houdini. So we're taking a look at the Houdini toolbar path that's in this particular path. So in this folder structure, and then we're going inside of the toolbar. So if we actually take a look in our file browser here, so we have this loaded up um, for my installation here. So it's looking at this folder and then it's going inside this toolbar folder. And you can see that inside this toolbar folder, you can see that it is looking for the shelf file that I have created. So place the, your shelf file hit in here and then it will it will see that there is a, a shelf file that it then can load into Houdini. So the next thing that we're doing is taking a look at the Houdini path environment variable. So we're taking that, we are appending the, the directory again. So this directory, and then we're looking inside of that directory, we're going inside the config folder and then inside the icons folder. So if I go inside that folder, go inside the config and then the icons, you can see I have a couple of icons that I've created here that you can see have been loaded properly into our Houdini, um, our Houdini installation here. 
So with that, that's kind of the basics. The other thing that I just want to point out here is this uh, semicolon and followed by an ampersand. So what that is doing is it's saying that it wants you to, or it wants Houdini to um, ensure that the paths are added are also included in, um, are included alongside the default paths of, of Houdini or that Houdini uses. So you'll want to include that along the end there and that will make sure that just everything is, is working properly with your Houdini path there. So that's just kind of a quick rundown of what I did for my specific um, installation for my, my toolbar. And so this is distributed with the toolbar and, and all the, all the different tools that come along with it. It's all distributed together with this. And then this is the only thing that needs to be changed. So once you have the, the stuff downloaded, you can ensure that you just drop in the folder. So if you create your own, you'd create your folder, call it, you know, whatever you want. You'd obviously change the name of the actual folder. So this is the, the name of the folder that we're looking in. So you change that to, to whatever your project is. And then obviously the, the folders inside here, you change as well, but you change the, the folder and then you just need to drop that folder inside your packages installation inside of your documents for Houdini 20. And then you also need to just drop the JSON file. So this is the name of the JSON file or the package that we just created there. And once those are both in the packages folder, it knows where to, to look, or I guess you can technically put this, this folder right here. You can put that wherever you want, as long as you have this path set properly, um, just put it into the, the packages folder just as a way to keep things all kind of in the same spot. And just to make sure nothing gets deleted, that it's, that is, is needed by our, our package there. So hopefully this helped you out, just kind of gives you an insight of how you can go about creating um, something yourself that you can then distribute for anybody that is looking to, to do so. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. And obviously, if you're just creating a shelf, then you can just distribute the shelf file, this actual shelf file yourself to, to whoever. Um, but if you want to have custom icons, then you would need to actually go and um, set this type of a, a file up and then if you want to set the actual icons then you need to come in to your your tool there so right click edit tool and then you want to make sure that the path is a relative path so in this case we're just saying that it is the actual name of the file since we have our package set up it knows where to look. It knows that the icons are gonna be located in the icon folder. And then we don't have to hard code anything in here and it knows where to look and what file to look for because that's the name of the actual file. We would go into, whoops, go up, come into the config and then the icons. You can see it's the same, it's the name here that we have uh, for our file. So it knows what that, file is looking for, and then it's going to load that in properly. Just make sure that those aren't hard coded to your specific computer. You want to make sure that it is a, a relative path um, or just basically the name of the file, and then it will load properly as long as you have your package installed properly with all of the files on the computer as well. So like I said, hopefully this helps you out. And if you want to uh, create your own stuff, it just gets you one little step uh, that, that makes it a little bit easier for everyone looking to install your stuff, makes it a little bit easier for everything to load in properly. So hopefully this helps you out. I have a bunch of other videos on Houdini. If you want to learn more about Houdini, make sure to check those out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.